In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create the initial train body for your miniature train project. We're going to do this in two extrusions. So we're going to extrude uh, the back part of the train, which is pretty much a rectangle with a curved top. And then we'll extrude the front part of the train, which includes this uh, cylinder with the rectangular base. Okay. So I'm going to go up to file, new design, and then we'll create a sketch on the front plane. Okay, so for the, uh, I'll flip over to the drawing so we can see some dimensions here. But we're going to start with the back part by making this kind of rectangle. And one thing that you want to notice is the top is curved. Okay, and that top, if we notice, it gives a radius dimension of 2.35. And that radius, this, where the center point of the circle is where this hole is. Okay, so we know that the, uh, just kind of keep that in mind as we do this. Uh, I'm going to actually flip down to the uh, bottom here because it tells us what the width of this part is which is two inches so you can see that right here so let's go ahead and start with a two inch line uh, for the bottom so i'll go up to the line tool click the origin and then just make that two inches and then we'll go ahead and make that point where that hole is and then i'm just going to find the midpoint of that line go up a little bit make the point and let's flip back to our drawing and figure out what that dimension for that point is. So that point is 0.375 from the bottom of that line. So go back to our dimension tool, and then we'll just dimension that as 0.375. Okay, for the next part, we'll add that circle uh, to get the curved part here. And again, that is 2.35. Uh, as a radius, remember when you type in a circle in uh, Fusion 360, you want to use diameter. So we need to double this. So that would actually be 4.7 for the diameter. So if we go up to our circle, click this point, and then I'm just going to type in 4.7, press enter. And then uh, what we want to do is just dr draw some vertical lines from here to the circle to close off that uh, profile. So I'm going to click the line tool and then go to these points and make sure those lines are straight. You're getting a 90 degree angle for that. And then just click the X. Same thing on this side. Now we have uh, some extra parts to this circle here. So I'm going to click the trim tool and then click the uh, outer part of the circle that we don't need. And then I'll click finish sketch. Okay. So we want to extrude this. I'll click extrude. And then I'm going to go back to the drawing and we want to figure out what the width of this is. And I think that's given right down here. Yeah. So 1.75 and then go back. 1.75 and I'm actually going to flip the direction I think and do negative 1.75 that'll come in handy later on but make sure the uh the sketch basically it's important that the sketch is on the back of the train and then we'll add on like the front right here so make sure you're kind of extruding it toward you a little bit okay so click okay and then we'll click on this front part here and we're going to add a sketch there. Okay. And I'll flip back to the drawing. So we already have the bottom line and we have the side lines to make this profile, but we, we just need to pretty much add the circle and then whatever the, this line is right here. So I'm going to start with the line and I'll follow this dimension line. That line is 0.875 from the bottom. So I'll go up to the line to tool and then just draw a horizontal line and then dimension that as 0.875. And then let's go ahead and add a circle here as well. So I'll just find the midpoint of this line, drag up, and then I'll just place it here. And then I'm just going to click for whatever. I will just dimension it and then go back to our drawing. So that circle is given as a radius of 0.75 again we'll need to use diameter so we need to double that so that needs to be one and a half and then for the height of that circle it is 1.375 from the bottom 
So I'll go ahead and position it first. So we'll click the bottom and the center point, and that needs to be 1.375. And then we'll dimension this. Uh, again, that needs to be 1.5. Okay, and then just so it's fully dimensioned, we'll click the left side here and then the center point, and then make sure that says one. Okay, let's trim off uh, some of the extra lines that you see down here. So we'll click trim, and then the circle and basically this middle part of that line. So just so you have this, make sure you have this profile here. And click finish sketch. And then we'll go to extrude, click the profile, and then we'll flip back to our drawing to figure out what that dimension needs to be. So if you look at this, this drawing doesn't actually give you what this is here, but we can calculate it. So the total depth of this part here is 5.5. And then the part that we did previously is 1.75. So we can calculate what this, this uh, part that we're dimensioning or we're extruding right now by taking 5.5 minus 1.75. If you do that, that is 3.75. So if we type in 3.75, and then click OK. OK, and that is the initial part of the train. In the next video, we'll start adding some holes uh, to the sides and the back and the front of the train.